girl. Get it, get it. Uh, get it, get it. Woo! Oh, okay, so I'm up north in northern upstate New York. That's my hotel right behind me. So I'm here for a wedding. Uh, it's real nice. There's no reason, zero reason for me to be out here in the snow like this. There's a road right there. I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for you guys. Oh my god, this is, this is stupid. How do people live like this? Oh, all right. Oh, fuck! Fuck this shit. Hello. to the Ricky show. All right, I got beef. All right, I'm about to go on a diatribe, a proper rant. Urgh. Fury, feel it. The, ra the rage is bubbling up from, from my loins to my Adam's apple. Ah. All right, and you know why I'm mad this week, everybody? We had the Oscars a few weeks ago. You know, Matthew McConaughey and Jared Leto, Steve McQueen. <laughs> Props, bro. Real happy for you. Probably the most satisfied I've been with any Oscar results boy for years next on valentine's day highly anticipated house of cards returns robin wright kevin spacey uh kate mara who you know they killed her they kill her it's not why i'm mad though it's just uh it's good drama people and last but not least the granddaddy of all winter programming the winter olympics now as i touched on in one of my other videos i don't currently have cable so i'm strictly relying on the internet for all of my digital media content needs now my big beef with the olympics and really all premium cable programming in general is that they just haven't really caught up to technology and the way things have evolved now what all the big major cable companies did this year is that if you wanted to watch the olympics online and not be tethered to your living room couch in somebody's room or sitting at a loud bar where you can't even hear what's going on and they're just playing reggaeton music. They allowed you to watch online only if you could prove that you had a cable provider subscription. A lot of people are thinking, hey, that's great. There's a platform for that. You can watch it on your mobile. You can watch it on your tablet. But the thing is, you're still shackled to these archaic cable companies, which are outdated, think they have a monopoly when they don't, charge way too much for the service that they provide, and really, they're just prolonging their slow and inevitable death. Now, sure, it's a neat feature, but the thing that really got me was, every other country in the world, it's like a point of national pride to watch the Olympics, and the government's providing programming anyway, you pay for it through your taxes, so hey, you get the Olympics and everything's great. Granted, in the good old US of A, we don't have state-controlled and state-run media, it's all privatized. You USA, USA. But still, come on. So what does somebody like me end up doing? You see places like Mega Upload, several other of these link aggregators that pretty much host content for free. Anything you want. Granted, on US soil, running these kind of operations is illegal, and a lot of them have been shut down. But when one shuts down, at least one or two or more pop up in its place pretty much overnight. I really hope the TV industry doesn't end up going the way of the music industry, a la Napster circa 1999. Now, I was in junior high at the time of Napster and really sinking my digital teeth into everything that I could get my hands on. It was just amazing that with my 56k modem I could wait for hours and download, you know, pretty much any song or two that it would take to download in a given period of time before I got kicked off the internet by an incoming phone call. But still, just like JT told us in the social network, Napster changed the music industry and left executives everywhere in a tizzy, frazzled, trying to figure out how to recoup their losses and stop the onset of this new digital form of sharing media. Well, fast forward, they couldn't. Record stores are now closing, Amazon, and iTunes is now the norm. So there you go. Industry effectively changed. And just like music, people who now consume movies and television online are used to having it when they want it, on any device they want it, on demand, and at a very, very low and reasonable cost. And this is why people like Netflix and others are really on the forefront for bridging that divide between all-out piracy and getting good quality content at a reasonable and fair price. So really, speaking in the best interests of the cable companies, I can't really see why they're hanging on to these, oh, Oh wait, 
Yeah, 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 money. Yeah. Entrenched interests. Majority of people who watch television are older, and it's kind of a habitual form of uh, consuming media, so they gotta keep that going. Old people love CBS. They love 60 Minutes. How to Catch a Predator? Bring that back, please. Classic. So, uh, what are you doing here? So I say to you, cable companies, don't go the way of Napster. Napster flicks. Netster. Netster. It's like Netscape Navigator also went the way of the dodo. All right, rant done. I'm, I'm out, done, whatever, I'm out of here. Just had to get that off my chest. Thanks a lot, guys. Please leave some scribbles down in the bloxel, and we will see you next time.